The Countdown Leader Generator from Dashwood Editor Essentials can be found under the Generators category in Final Cut Pro 10, Final Cut Pro 7, and Apple Motion. In After Effects and Premiere Pro, the Countdown Leader Generator just shows up as a filter along with all of the other filters, but it must be applied to either a solid layer or in Premiere Pro you can apply it to black video. Now today I'm using Final Cut Pro 10, but the Countdown Leader Generator works exactly the same way in all of the hosts just mentioned. So let's have a look at how it works. So in Final Cut Pro 10, I'm just going to drag the Countdown Leader to the front of my sequence, and it defaults to 6 seconds starting at the number 8. And it's going to finish at the number 2, which will be the 2 beep. So that is just the default. Now you can see up here in the parameters, it's ending on the 2 beep. Uh, you can also make it end on 0. Now the only other parameters that the generator has are text color, which can be changed. You can make it any color. And background color, uh, number 1. And background color, number 2. So you can create some interesting options the countdown leader will automatically adjust itself based on how long you make it. So even though it may default to six seconds, you can stretch it out and make it much, much longer. And however long you make it, it will still count down that many seconds.